Guys, I think I didn't show you the interior. I'm gonna do it right now. Mysterious guys. Guys, hey. they're like two parts of the house. This is like the eating cooking parts two stuffs that i was showing already the tall one easier to ignite this is the smaller one the one for the cooking they both connected to this chimney getting the, the smoke outside this is called yushka and this is basically this kind of like blocker if it's closed all the smoke goes inside of the house and it's like super dangerous because you can die you don't close it uh, when the fire is on and the fire is always on because we need to keep it warm not super warm though yesterday we make it super warm so it feels like sauna inside you cannot sleep but whatever cooking area all the cooking utensils are here then there is a window obviously another window there's Ella hey look I'm holding Ella head then here is the entrance door uh, the light is blinking because we're in a horror movie and soon a uh, killer bear will come uh, this is one bed here on one side, another bed here on this side, and there's like two bunk beds for four more people here. That's it, that's the whole interior of the house. Oh yeah, the view from the window. This is one lake, the big one, and this is the uh, snowmobile. On the other side, pika, pika. there is like the smaller lake here. The one that we are taking the water from. <laughs> This is the day free that we are here. We know all the ropes. We also know how to make a fire with one match and no paper. Because Ranger showed us how to do that. Before that, we were like wasting a lot of matches. You don't waste matches. Um, buzzing like a bee, whatever. Amateur. Okay. I'm gonna show you the interior of Banya or Russian sauna. And here, this is the actual Russian Banya because the log made house right on the lake and yesterday we made it hot uh, till the evening and we managed uh, to go there i don't know how to say it in english like steam up or whatever and then we were jumping like into the snow maybe i can still like see our butt uh, imprints in the snow there are no butt imprints but i think we were rolling somewhere here <laughs> Yeah, okay, there are some imprints. So this snow angel, I think this is the uh, Jazz's ass or something. I'm gonna go check on Jazz because he was working on the fires. Jazz is working on a fire. Yeah. Let me show you the interior of Bunny. Uh, this is the first, how's it called, chamber. It's pretty small, but this is like the resting area. Basically how it works, you have the chimney, bigger part of the chimney you will see the inside of the steaming chamber. So this one get the fire and everything, but then all the heat is accumulating like there in this chamber. And this is where all the magic happens. By the way, I already showed everybody uh, the imprint of your butt in the snow. <laughs> no, I don't want to <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Check. So this is the main place and it's still warm from yesterday because it was like so hot last night. This is how it works here. You have the remaining part of the uh, fireplace here and then you have some stones like in sauna and then you have this iron thing to heat the water. Then we bring some cold water from the ice hole. Sounds like an asshole. From the ice hole from the pond. Then you just use the hot water and the cold water to wash. You can lay here if it's super hot and you get the banya or you can just sit. Yesterday wasn't super hot. It was 90 in the beginning or something. So we were just like sitting doing in the sauna. So yeah, that's the bunny. That's how it looks like from the inside. I need to deal with the water. I checked the buckets and the cold bucket is half empty. I need to pour out at least one big bucket to fill it in. I will pour you Me some. Me too. Look at that. I love this guy. I think I was showing that already, but still. The weather is not cold. It's like plus two. The surroundings are still amazing. And there is still a bigger lake there, which we cannot go to because the ice can be too thin. I'm gonna do another round for the water and then we will try do some uh, snowmobile riding in the woods maybe. <laughs> Just bounce to it. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you sit back denouncing it. But I'm a good kid, I rock gold, I'm never gonna sleep with ya. I love you, I've been wrong, but let me see the whole damn picture. But damn, I got it. Super motherfucker when he popped it. Fake ass ride when he got it. Roll the snowmobile, so I know it's real. Nobody's ever really gonna stop it. Goddamn, yes, ma'am. Can I do what I can as a man? Can I be what I said? Do it better than anybody is really trying to be my fan. But come hang now. Now would it be a cool ride through dirty everybody seeing you while I drink my drink you <laughs>
This is poker, if you wonder. Not the game, but the actual poker. The actual one that you use for helping the fire inside of the fireplace. Keep on working, generator. Generator is awesome. I love it. This one is fucked up though. It gives us all this twinkling light in the houses. Take a look at that. The light is always like twinkling here and in Banyat, this generator is like fucked up or electricity is fucked up. Also yesterday, it died like a few times. Pika, pika. Hello, Mauga. Yesterday, it died like several times, so I needed to go reignite it. But when you're inside the banya, naked, you sit and then you're sweating, you need to go outside, switch it off, because it's not just like simply on off. You make all these procedures, bring it back on. Yesterday, I was like running naked to switch it on and... Uh, To have it running again but today it's stable when i switch it uh, on in the morning it still keep running hey girls how's it going <coughs> damn i got it super motherfucker when he popped it fake ass ride when he copped it rode the snowmobile misha kushat yishinka mm, tasty today we have a scramble eggs with mushrooms and, and okay. spinach and the bear will join my schedule is full fingers crossed It's like a shot from the horror movie. <laughs> Mago, what are you doing? The dishes. I'm placing cold water into the container and it's gonna be it. Some regular kitchen stuff. This is how the scrambled eggs look like. Your woman made it for you. Good job, people. Pika, pika. Good job. Mm. Stop! Yesterday night, we went outside here on this uh, big lake. There were stars and there were like no one around, not a noise around. And you can only see the, uh, the ice cracking on the whole uh, lake. The lake was making these noises as if it was a heartbeat. So we were like standing here, like four of us looking into the night sky and the moon was so beautiful. Also like on this lake, sometimes you can see an unexpected animals. Like, what kind of animal you are? I'm an angel, I'm not an animal. <laughs> you look like Wolverine. Oh! I think it's a Wolverine. The weirdest I've ever seen. Look at that. These hills or mountains around. It's really sad that it's like warm now. It should be like minus four weeks to get the proper like thick ice to be able to ride the snowmobile on this one. I can go probably, I don't know, like 50 meters there, but then it's gonna get dangerous and I can get like under the ice. On the snowmobile, it can go farther because the space uh, on the ice is much wider. So it's less probability that you will fall under the ice. Look at, look at the nature. Look at this, look at the trees. Look at this Wolverine. Heels. The, the fog and everything. There is no one around in like 100 kilometers. Seriously. You wish. Bugger off. Ah, oh, beautiful. Fuck you. Very, very beautiful. Look what we just found next to the lake. It's something like that. Mongo just said it looks like the Blair Witch Project. Look, it's like a totem or something. I know. This is the worshippers of Opala Kakala, this killing bear. <laughs> For him not to uh, come here and kill people. That's how we get saved. First night we've been seeing the mooses walking on the ice and I just found the uh, the steps. It's pretty big, look. Actually, it's not super big. Maybe there was a baby moose. So definitely there was a baby moose. Watch your back from now on. I sound like an expert in mooses, but I'm not an expert in mooses. So every day we have the same procedure because we need to keep a fire on like inside. So every day I do this exercise before it's still uh, daylight and the daylight is over in an hour. I drink my coffee from I need love from you a cup and I'm doing the exercise with the logs. And now I'm gonna do more. Some of these logs are pine tree. Oh, the smell is amazing. The smell of the uh, tar. It's like fresh. I'd love to say IKEA, but it's not IKEA. It's just like fresh pine tree cut. 
those are burning really fast and if you do the uh, small pieces of the wood those are the best for starting the fire from one match from one match done this is the ones that I prepared for the house now I also prepare the stuff for mangal this is uh, pine I made uh, some smaller ones just to start the fire make the big ones just to get a really good base for, for the coals with the knife I need to do this uh, wooden like hair this small pieces which will burn like a paper from pine they will be like super fast burning so one match fire on it took more than one match to fire it up and it's like plus three right now the matches got wet but look at that the medium size already uh, burning i have the bigger ones here those are getting uh, dry these guys are nicely on fire it got some warm that it feels like the uh, skating rink you can now see under the snow the grass and local berries which is pretty cool look at my fire my fire is on fire that's exactly what i'm talking about Tonight is pelmeni night. If you're not familiar with pelmeni, it's Russian dumplings. I will show you pelmeni. Hey ladies. Hey. How's it going? Cool. <laughs> and this is Russian pelmeni, but I'm gonna prepare them on the grill. Which is sort of experimental. You don't do it like on the grill usually. But yeah, Maugu is preparing them right now in some spices. And then we're gonna put it like in the crate. Mango is preparing the crate. And then we're gonna be eating that with... Hrenadyor. Hrenadyor is the sauce that is perfect with pelmeni. I wouldn't say it's original from my region. In different regions of Russia, it's called in a different way. In some of the regions, they call it Hrenovina, which sounds also funny. Calls are getting ready. In about 20 minutes, we can start. It's gonna be an experiment. Usually you boil them with a bay leaf, rolls of black pepper and some salt. Classic way around Russia is half beef, half pork. In the same way how I do it, in the same way how my family was doing that when I was a child. Whenever you boil them, they absorb all the liquids mixed with the meat and it creates this kind of a like bouillon. <laughs> inside of this uh, door shell around the meat. That's the trick of the domain. Look at the coals, getting red hot ready. Since it's experiment, it's not traditional way of doing that. I'm using shampoo. It's kind of um, kebab, if you know that, from Turkey. So I'm gonna do a grill with those. I will just experiment to do on the coals like that. In any of the cases, it's gonna be made a little bit smoky with the taste of the uh, awesome wood. And the pine gives a lot of taste to food. So we'll see. Work in progress. I should be good. Are they good? Just yeah. delicious. Hey. Try. This is Barini. Peel mini without meat. The experts trying them. Expert. Ready? Mm -hmm. Expert says it's ready. You have been so hard to find, but now that you're here, do we have the time? Your body is pressed up on mine This chemistry here is one of a kind So baby, tell me So today's Christmas So everybody, Merry Christmas yes. Merry Christmas Oh yeah, vodka Merry Cheers. Christmas, Christmas no. It's yours You're a cheater Cheetah Conchita Two, two Last day, it's a little bit wet, it's like plus five. The ranger already like came here on the second snowmobile to pick us up. And we're doing the last preparations, drinking coffee. Yeah, I love rock and roll. <laughs> Yesterday at night, there was no stars. I was going to film a little bit, but it was not uh, possible. There was like clouds all the way and it didn't work out. But overall, the air, the possibility to be without the people, the possibility to enjoy like the wild and just to be with yourself the ability to go outside without a single sound apart from the uh, wind and the beating of the ice when you lay on the ice looking at the stars and the uh, and the moon i think it's it's worth a lot so have a good one <laughs>